Hello everyone. During a few relatively recent live streams, I asked if people would be interested in seeing some videos about programming that I'm working on in school, and I had a pretty positive response to that, so this video is going to be about a little program that I made. And before I begin, I just want to have a little disclaimer or note here, just saying that I'm not an expert at programming, and there are probably better ways, or almost definitely better ways, to do what I'm doing here, but hopefully it'll still be interesting and useful to some people. So the basic idea behind this project is to be able to hide a text file in an audio file, and it's an example of steganography, which by definition, according to dictionary.com, is hiding a secret message within a larger one, in such a way that others cannot discern the presence or contents of the hidden message. And uh, steganography should not be confused with stenography, which is shorthand writing, which is also interesting, but not very related. So in the interest of keeping the video more interesting for everyone, I'm not going to be going into the actual code that I wrote, but rather the way that the numbers are generated and how they're manipulated to get the results that we want, just how to hide the message sort of in theory rather than in practice. But if you're interested in the code or just a lot more information, take a look at the description. I spent quite a while writing that out and the code has a lot of comments in it on its own. So that should be helpful if you're looking for advice on actual programming. But now on to the rest of the video, and first off an apology if you've done any programming before, it might be a little bit slow. But uh, okay, so the first thing that you need to know is what an array is, and an array is something called a data structure. It's a way of storing data in a way that makes it easier to work with, and the easiest way to think about this is a grid and each square in the grid can have some data in it. In this case we're just using some numbers so as you can see here maybe it'll be these integers there and each square in the grid will also have a coordinate starting at zero and going up to the maximum value in that dimension so in this case it's zero zero all the way to five five which means it's a six by six array and so arrays can also just be one dimensional rather than being a square which would be two dimensional like that or a rectangle or something that's also two dimensional they can be just a line and so each square would just have a value going from zero up until the length of the array and we're using arrays in this program for two purposes first off as an audio array so since we're encoding a text file into, one, uh, into an audio file, we need to input the audio file into the program. And the way we do this is we make it a very, very, very long array of numbers. So the audio file type that we're using will be a .wav file at 44,100 hertz, which means that there are 44,100 values Per second. So I'm just showing a few sample numbers on here. The, all the numbers from the audio file will be, be between negative 1 and positive 1, and there will be 44,100 of them per second of audio. So that's really it for the audio file. That's what we read in, and we'll do a little manipulation with that in a minute or so. So then we need the text file that we want to convert, and I'm just doing a very small example here to show how it works. So if we want to encode hello into an audio file, we first of all have to get the word hello and then break it down into an array of characters. So H-E-L-L-O, each one is a separate character. If you think about it as a grid, each letter would be in a separate spot in the grid. And then we convert each character into a number. And each character actually already has a set number that it's equivalent to. I have a link in the description to the Wikipedia page which has a table listing all of the numbers that are converted. So then at this point we have an array of numbers that we got from the text and a really really long array of numbers that we got from the audio file. So now in order to encode the text into the audio file what we do is we make the numbers from the text much smaller by dividing by a constant. In this case I just divided by 10,000. It doesn't really matter what number you use, it's arbitrary. And then you add that number to the original audio. So it's the original audio number plus the character number, and then that will equal the audio with the encoded data. And you do that for each individual character. And so that will leave you, once you put that data back into the audio file and save it, that'll give you an audio file with the data encoded onto it. 
And since the values that you added to each individual audio number are so small, it's not noticeable to the human ear. So you pretty much have a secret encoded message that no one will be able to notice. So to decode it, you just reverse the process. So you take the audio with the encoded data and you subtract the original audio from it and that'll give you the numbers for the characters back. You multiply those by uh, 10,000 uh, because you divided by that before and then convert them back into characters and you'll get your original message out. And so that's it for the procedure here. And so there is a bit more to talk about though. Uh, first off, I'm pretty sure this method is impossible to decode without the key because you're just adding character values to randomly generated audio values. So there's no way to tell what any character would be without the original audio file. There, the disadvantage is of course that you have to have the audio file to decode it. Unlike a lot of other secret message things where you just need a little key like a, a secret word to decode it, th for this you need the entire audio file so that's a bit of a disadvantage. But uh, it's still sort of a cool thing. If you found this video at all interesting, I highly recommend reading the Wikipedia article on steganography. It has some really, really cool examples of things that you can do with it. And actually in the description as well, I have some sample projects that if you know a bit about programming and you feel like working through something, you might take a look at those. Um, as for the actual program, I, I'm showing on screen here how it works. It's quite straightforward. The instructions on the command prompt that show up say exactly what to do. It's, yeah, it's quite straightforward. And actually, if you're interested in doing this for yourself, I have some instructions in the description on how to run the program, or you can just try and mimic what I'm doing on screen here. But also, there's a slightly different, it encodes text into an image. Uh, but if you're looking for this to actually use, you're probably better off using this website listed in the description, which will allow you to uh, encode text into an image. And yeah, that'll be much more straightforward than going through all the stuff with this program. And there's also actually a little bug with my program, uh, the standard audio.java file, which I got from the textbook that I was using a little bit of. It has some issue with uh, when it saves the audio file and then reloads it, it changes the values very slightly. So sometimes one letter will be off by a single letter. It's not a really big deal unless you're trying to encode something that has to be precisely perfect. And so I'd also like to give a big shout out to Jord for helping me with a little issue with the program that I was spending a very long time trying to debug and he helped find that and that was fixed. So yes, big thank you for that. But yeah, that's really it. So it took quite a while to write everything up and get it all together. So if you enjoyed it at all, please give it a thumbs up. And so also please comment whether I should do more in the future and how much more in depth I should go, whether I should focus more on the code or more on more like this and just stay uh, with talking through how something works. Um, but yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed.